It has been a very long time since we've been up in Ontario bear hunting. In fact, it's been two years to the day. I've had success bear hunting all across Ontario. I shot my biggest bear in the Superior region. I shot my first bear in Algoma. In fact, I took my niece Kaylee on her first Ontario experience and she shot her first bear in the Algoma region as well. We're going back to my bear hunting roots. We're coming back to the Algoma region. But this time, we're coming to Whitefish Lodge and Outpost Camps. We're just getting checked in. I'm gonna go catch up with Phil and Coop. They're gonna show us a few uh, trail cam photos of some bears coming in. Get out in the stand and hopefully we can connect on a big old bear. The Ontario experience is the next best thing to going on the adventure yourself. And who knows, this unique show just might give you some ideas for your next fishing or hunting trip.
cool. That was awesome. It's so fun to watch them interact and just see how they react to everything. You could definitely tell if that was a younger bear. Just the way it was looking around. It was constantly looking to see if there's other bears around. There's some big dominant bears in this area, so he doesn't want to get his hand it's caught in the cookie jar, so he's definitely keeping an eye out. Not only eating, but watching his surroundings. He might have a little, we might have a little bit of scent in the air, but we've got not only scent elimination on, but we've got some uh, curiosity scents, some cover scents too. Just, uh, so this wind is swirling. They may catch a little glimpse of, uh, of, your, of our scent, but uh, that, uh, that covers that curiosity sense really fools their nose. So I'm not worried at all about getting busted by these bear. That's one of their uh, key things, uh, their defense mechanisms. There's no question about it, just like any big game animal. Their nose, nose. So we had a phenomenal day yesterday. We saw a bunch of bears. The problem is we didn't have any any size to those bears. They were small, they weren't shooters, so we let them go. Coop was pulling some chips yesterday uh, from his trail cams and saw some really nice bears on this on this stand that we're gonna move to today. In fact, he had a nice chocolate too. What a lot of people don't realize that black bears, there are color phases. There's chocolate, there's blondes or cinnamon. So to get a chocolate, I think that'd be a brown bear. It'd be pretty cool, but uh, he's in there checking the chip right now. He's going to bait up. We're going to get set up and hopefully, uh, and there's a couple other bears along with that one do really good size ones. So we're going to get set up, get in the stand, and uh, hopefully we, we can uh, catch up to one of them. Just like in Ty Shodin fashion, we're bringing this bear hunt right down to the last day again. Actually, Coop got us on, uh, on a bear site here where he pulled the chip uh, the day before yesterday. And there is a Mack truck of a bear there. And there's a couple other big ones there too. So we sat there yesterday. We got there about 11 o'clock. That bear had been there for the last two days. And of course, we went in there, probably made too much noise, and, and he didn't show up yesterday. But we're going back in there again today. We're gonna to sit all day long. We got a little bit of a trek here. We got we the ranger taking us in about five miles. So we're gonna to try to eliminate uh, as much noise as, as possible. You know what, we had a couple other bears come in that were borderline bears. We're gonna take this to about three, four o'clock today because we are leaving tomorrow and uh, we may pull the trigger on one of these other bears. I wanna bring some meat, meat back. I love bear meat. Uh, I have a lot of people ask me, Do you, is bear meat good? You know what? Absolutely. Bear meat is some of the best meat. And uh, let me show you a little uh, recipe that my buddy uh, Billy Linder and I put together back at the office. And I think your, your mouth will be watering after you see this. This is a hearty and flavorful soup, chock full of meat and vegetables. A list of ingredients includes three pounds of bear meat, six tablespoons of all-purpose flour, sea salt, pepper, six tablespoons of butter, cooking oil, six cups of beef stock, one bottle of ale, one dollop of tomato paste, three cloves of garlic sliced, one onion sliced, 
two pounds of baby red potatoes, peeled and cut in half inch cubes. Five carrots, coarsely chopped. Eight ounce mushrooms sliced. Three bay leaves. And two sprigs of rosemary. First cut up the bear meat into one inch cubes and season with salt and pepper. On a stove top, add three tablespoons of oil to a Dutch oven over medium heat. Add in cubed seasoned meat to Dutch oven and sear meat. Remove meat from Dutch oven and drain on paper towels. Add onions and garlic to pan, soften and lightly brown. Remove onions and garlic from pan and reserve for later. Heat up the Dutch oven a bit and deglaze the pan with a splash of beer, scraping up all the brown bits. Add the bear meat, six cups of beef stock, a bottle of ale, dollop of tomato paste, mushrooms, rosemary, bay leaves, and the onion garlic mix we put aside earlier. Cover and simmer in Dutch oven. Place an oven at 275 degrees for two hours. Remove from oven, add in potatoes and carrots. Place back in oven and cook for an additional hour until meat is tender and vegetables are al dente. To thicken soup, you can make a roux. Take six tablespoons of flour and six tablespoons of butter and heat in a small saucepan, stirring to make a paste. Add the roux into the soup, incrementally stirring to attain the desired thickness. Season soup to taste and serve with crusty bread.
it to die she didn't to, to wait till the 11th hour to tag out. <laughs> we are on the last day of this hunt and we have seen a ton of bears. It has been an unbelievable hunt. I just heard a noise down there and we've seen all these bears have been coming from this way. This one came from underneath there and as soon as I saw it, I go, oh, that's a nice bear. We checked this camera at this spot a couple days ago and uh, Coop's like, wow, there's like three really nice bears on, on this uh, site. He hasn't, he'd been baiting it, but nobody's been hunting it. So we set up, we got set up yesterday. The last time we saw the big ones were at like 10.30, we got here at noon. Didn't see any big bears. We had two decent bears come in. It's kind of fun to watch. I was like, let's, tomorrow's the last day. Let's get up super early. We're gonna get on top of this thing. Sure enough, we get in here, check the chip. We had bumped a really big one. On it all day again, saw uh, a decent sized sow, watched her for a bit. I'm looking at my watch going, we've got like an hour and a half left of this trip. I'm going, what's going on? I hear a crack and all of a sudden I see this black coming out of this little valley over here. We're hunting this perfect spot. I mean, if you look over here, this is just a rock ledge. And then to the right, it's a nice, beautiful swamp. It's just an absolute perfect pinch point. These bear just work up and down this thing. That was awesome. <laughs> Didn't go far. I watched it fall down probably 40 yards. The thing actually came up. I thought it was gonna leave. I was like, oh my God, we just, we just blew this hunt. Sure enough, the turnaround came back. So put it right behind the shred on the shoulder and blew it up. This rage, <laughs> this raven with rage prodheads, sliced them up just like they need to. These things, those animals do not suffer. It's just, you, you gotta use the right equipment. This thing is an awesome piece of equipment. I've killed my second bear with this thing now. It's just so fun to, so fun to practice with. It's so accurate. It's a great piece of equipment. Whew, we're gonna call Coop. <laughs> get him down here and we're gonna get this bear out of here. That is awesome, yes! Holy cow, look at this bear. I think he got bigger. He got bigger from the stand. You have shrinkage, this thing got bigger. What an absolute tank. This has been, without a doubt, probably my most amazing Ontario bear hunt. And that's saying a lot. I mean, you guys have seen a lot of the shows that I've done for bear hunting and I've got some giants. But we just saw so many bears this week. Coop had is, you know, moving a couple stands. He's just on top of his game. The guy knows pretty much everything about bear. He's got the same respect I do for him. You have to give him a call. It's an absolute honor to hunt with this guy. Whitefish, Lodge, and Outpost Camps. You won't regret it. You're gonna see a lot of bears, and you've got a shot at an absolute giant. <laughs>